Hey guys, how's it going? I know I haven't made a video here in a little while, but I had something I wanted to talk about. So you probably know by now that I am a huge Astros fan, huge baseball fan. I love my Astros. I've actually been going to Astros games since before I was born. My mom was pregnant with me and her and my dad would go down to the um, Astrodome and watch games because I was born in October so the season usually is wrapping up right before my birthday. Um, <laughs> funny story though about that is actually <clears throat> the longest postseason game ever played in terms of minutes played and innings played actually took place at Minute Maid Park and I was having my birthday party. It was a family birthday party and um, nobody wanted to cook dinner because nobody wanted to get away from the game and the Astros actually ended up winning that game. So that's a little fun fact. Um, it didn't actually happen on my birthday, but it was my birthday party, so I feel like it was my birthday. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> this weekend is the induction for the Baseball Hall of Fame for this year's people who've been selected. And um, Craig Biggio, who was a lifetime Astro. He only ever played for the Astros. He was drafted by the Astros. He played his entire career here in Houston and retired as an Astro. He is the first player to go into the Hall of Fame for the Astros. Um, we have other players, and there are other players in the Hall of Fame who've played for the Astros but did not go in as an Astro. The biggest one would be Nolan Ryan. He played for the Astros for years and years and years and years, and he did amazing here. And then our like manager or our owner at the time was like, well, you're getting old. You're not really, you know, you're not going to have that many more good seasons. You're not going to have any more like no hitter games in you. So we don't want to pay you as much. So Nolan Ryan was like, okay, peace. He left, went on to have like some amazing more years and ended up, I believe, retiring as a Ranger um, and going in the Hall of Fame as a Ranger. So that was kind of annoying. Although he does a lot of work with the Astros now because um, he does live in Houston. But anyway, Craig Biggio is going in, and growing up in the 90s and the early 2000s with the Astros is was when he was playing, and him and Bagwell were playing, and they really kind of were the Astros in that time. We had what we called the Killer Bees. It was a bunch of players whose last name started with a B, and they were amazing. Biggio, Bagwell, Berkman, Bell... And then we like started like changing other players' names um, to be with like a bell. But we were like, their, our nickname was like the Killer Bees. And we did really well. We've never actually won a World Series. We've only gone to the World Series once in 2005, actually 10 years ago. And we promptly lost the first four games to the Chicago White Sox. That was kind of disappointing. But still, it's very exciting for Biggio to be going in. It's very emotional for me because... Growing up as an Astros fan, it's who you looked up to. Even though I'm a girl and I don't play baseball myself, I didn't play softball, um, I love going to the games. I go all the time. I was just there this weekend, um, or not this weekend, but this week. I went twice. We played the Red Sox this week and we swept them which was amazing, and I was there Thursday night when we had the walk-off home run for Altuve in the ninth inning against the Red Sox, so that was kind of exciting. He likes to terrorize the Red Sox because last year he hit a, his only career ever Grand Slam um, in Fenway Park over the Green Monster, and then um, he hit a home walk-off home run against them on Thursday, though. That was kind of exciting. But anyway, I want to talk about Biggio because Biggio is like... I don't know. I feel like I'm going to start crying if I go too much into it. But, I mean, how often do you have a player who spends their entire career with one team? And not only that, but to have the career he had. He, If you don't know, he actually made it to over 3,000 hits, which is phenomenal. And to do it in one team is like, I think the stats, like one in every 10 players will get 3,000 hits while playing for the same team. So that's kind of incredible. Um... Yeah, he just, like, he had such a respect for the game, and he loved to play it the way it's meant to play. And Altuve, our new, like, one of our big players right now, gets compared to him a lot because he plays this, like, with the same determination as Biggio does. And I know 
that um, they talk a lot and Biggio gives him pointers all of the time and um, you know for a long time Biggio held the most hit record in the Astros for the, for the Astros um, having the most hits in a single season which Altuve broke last year and I was actually at that game and um, it was pretty exciting once you know he tied it and so everyone was so excited and then the next at bat he actually you know broke it and he was there and um, I think it was very emotional for both players because um, Biggio was there at that game and um, but it was exciting to kind of like pass the torch and you know Altuve is at the very beginning of his season he's you know he um, this is his first, fourth full season in the majors so he's still very young he's only 25 years old so it would be nice if he could stay the whole time but yeah I'm just so excited for Biggio to be inducted into the Hall of Fame um, there's like no player better deserving than him to be in it and it was so frustrating last year because he missed it by like two votes and there's just some people who because it's like sports writers who get a vote who get to go in and there's some people who don't think that anybody should go in the first year they're eligible and then people were trying to say that he was a cheater and he took steroids but like there's no way that skinny little boy took steroids um he was like he was just very lean and thin and um I can cut kind of, like I love Bagwell as well and you know he was another great player that played for the Astros he he was also a career Astro but he actually got drafted by the Red Sox and the Red Sox ended up trading him to the Astros one year um, for some pitchers or something because they were trying to make a run on the World Series but they lost anyway it's like considered the second worst trade that Boston has ever made in their entire um, history, the first one being trading Babe Ruth away, and the second one would be trading Bagwell away to the Astros. So he's another one where he was like <clears throat> considered a career Astro because he played his entire major league career with the Astros, but he wasn't drafted by us. So, yeah. Um, but he was a little bigger, and there's been some talk about him have possibly been on steroids during his career, and I would like to believe he didn't, but um, I'm also realistic, and he was... A little bit bigger so it's possible I'm I mean I don't know for sure but it would be nice if he could get in the Hall of Fame because if you look at the average stats for most Hall of Famers um, Bagwell has better stats than them so he didn't get 3,000 hits but he did get 500 home runs so that's also really um, good career home runs and uh, yeah so maybe next year Bagwell I don't know we'll see Anyway, that's really all I want to talk about. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys sometime in the future. And um, hopefully the Astros can keep winning because right now we're tied with the Angels because we won yesterday and they lost, so that's exciting. Um, yeah. All right, because we need to get back in first place. All right, I'm going to go. Have a fantastic day wherever you are, and I'll see you guys sometime in the future. Bye.